In this film you will see a picture, originally painted in a single frame, splitting up into many different frames and sequences to make it a film. Each of the scenes that this Chinese landscape painting contains is depicted in its own perspective. The beholder is enabled to view each scene separately and move towards the next scene, continuously changing his point of view. As we are positioning ourselves in front of the figures and other elements of the composition, they imply a corresponding level and distance vis-à-vis -vis the viewer. We can observe the next scene again from a different perspective, seeing a wide angle that would be unrealizable from a fixed position. Consequently, the observer constantly changes his position in relation to the single elements. His position is allocated by their perspective, hence the point of view provided by the painter. With the help of a shifting perspective, the painter is able to determine a path through the picture that the beholder then follows with his eyes. Since the single elements are not isolated, but interrelated with their direct surroundings, the perspective is shifting slowly from one to the next, and the beholder is able to move through a continuous transformation of visual space. Almost every element is ambiguous, as it can either be observed from different perspectives or it awakes the impression of change by symbolically indicating spans of time and distance. All the different spaces that seem to depict moments of a visually narrated journey can be observed in a spatially coherent order, visually moving towards or away from them, around or through the objects illustrated on the painting surface. Therefore, Objects are significant not only for a single moment, but for a sequence of eye movements, until the eye follows a succeeding direction that emanates from the beholder's mind, guided by the painter's idea and carried forward by the shifting perspective. As a result, each scene illustrates a sequence within which the viewer's point of view and in consequence he himself moves. The viewer is invited to follow a path that was created for a journey of the mind. Although knowing that this painting is meant to be presented on a conceptual basis of overall organization, and closing all internal divisions within one frame, in this film I deliberately divided the composition because only the process of viewing reveals the narrative, spatial and temporal elements that organize the whole painting.